Looking to install Daedalus and you want to be extra sure that the installer you're using is legitimate? Let's learn together about PGP signatures and how to use that to verify your Daedalus installer. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at PGP signature verification. We'll take a quick look at what it is, and then we'll see how can we use it to make sure that the installer we're about to download for Daedalus is actually from IOHK. Let's jump in. All right, so before we get to downloading, let's take a look at what PGP actually is. So we have a good article here on the Linux journal that we'll share in the description below, but PGP, pretty good privacy and digital signatures. So we see here in 1991, Phil Zimmerman developed pretty good privacy PGP, and it was the first software available to the general public that utilized RSA, public key crypto system. And it was primarily used for email encryption and signing. So while its primary focus was originally intended for message verification, we can also use it to verify the signature of the installer that we're going to use for Daedalus. So let's hop back over to the Daedalus site. So here we are at daedaluswallet.io. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to download. And if we scroll down, we see that we have the option to download Daedalus. And we see that we also have the option for this PGP signature. So I'll pause here and say that this whole PGP signature verification process is completely optional. If you're comfortable saying, hey, look, I know I went to datalesswallet.io, I know I'm at the right website, I don't need any additional verification, then that's fine. This is optional, but it's also not that difficult. So stick with us and let's see if maybe it's something you wanna try out. So let's take a look at what the actual steps are for this signature verification. So we're gonna click here and we have provided for us here all the steps that we need to follow to verify the signature for the installer. So the first thing it says we need to do is get the Daedalus installer package file and then the corresponding package signature file and we're gonna to wanna to put them in the same directory. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go here to our download page and I'm going to download Daedalus. I'm gonna install the package file here in a temporary folder. And then I'll also do the same while this is starting, I'm gonna do the same for the signature file. We'll also put it in our temporary folder. We're gonna let these download. Okay, now they both downloaded. We have them both in the same directory. Let's take a look at our next step here. So it says if we've already installed the GPG suite and we have a personal key generated, we can skip to step five, but we've not done that yet, so we'll continue. We're gonna to go to gpgtools.org, go to the suite section, and download the .dmg file and install it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're here at gpgtools.org and we will download the suite. We can save it to that same directory and we'll let this download. Now, once this is done, let's see what our next step is. We wanna actually look at the .dmg file, which is here, and it says we want to open it. And now we see that we have install and uninstall. Okay, so that's good. We're gonna right click on the install icon and we're gonna choose open with installer. Very good. And we'll go through the installation process. We're gonna let this finish installing. Okay, so we've finished installing, so let's close this. We can probably close this guy. We will allow this. Okay, and so now it's going to ask us to create a new pair. And if we look at our steps here, uh, it says once the installation is complete, it'll ask you to create a new key pair. It is required for step six, so please don't skip it. Okay, so we're gonna need to enter a name and an email that suits us personally. And we're gonna choose a passphrase to protect our personal key. So let's bring this back over. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll enter a name, email, and a strong password, and then I'm gonna click on create key, okay? So here it's saying it's creating the key, and now it tells me that my key was created successfully. Great, so now let's see what's our next step. So we've done all of this, we've done our name, email, password. So let's go to step five. We're gonna to want to import the IOHK key using the GPG keychain application. So we're not gonna upload our public key. We'll leave it local, so we'll say no thanks. And so we're gonna to want to come to look up key. Okay, so we have this here. So we're going to select key, look up key. We're going to search for signing authority at IOHK. So let's highlight this. And then we wanna make sure that we get the one with the right fingerprint. So let's go ahead and do our search. Okay, so we have this fingerprint here. Let's see if we can pull this down and see. 
Okay, so we see here the IOHK signing authority. That looks good. If we pull this down a little bit more, we see here the full key fingerprint. And if we look closely, D325, 87D4, 090F, E461, CAEE, 0FF4, 966E, 5CB9, CBFA, A9BA. Okay, so we're good. Uh, so if not, it's wrong. If it's good, then we can go to the next step. So we're going to go ahead and import this key. Great. So our import was successful. Awesome. So we see here that we have the public key for the IOHK signing authority. We have the email it's associated with, and we have the fingerprint. All right, so let's look at our next step. We confirm this. It was good, so we move to the next step. The next thing we need to do is sign the imported IOHK key to designate trust to it. So we're going to right-click on the imported key and click on Sign. So let's right-click this key, and we're going to click Sign. Okay, so by signing this key, you confirm the identity of the key owner and that the key with the fingerprint here, which we saw before, belongs to them. So IOHK Signing Authority, and if we say Publish, we can choose to publish the signature, and then everyone in the world can see that we believe that this key belongs to IOHK. So up to you if you want to publish or not. We'll skip it here. There's some more information here on why publish, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, sign it without publishing. Okay, so here's going to ask me to enter my passphrase that I had selected earlier. So I'm going to click OK. Okay, so it has been signed. And so we see here that the validity has actually gone up as well when we signed it. All right, what's our next step? So now we're at the point where we're actually going to verify the installer's binary. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our signature that we downloaded, and we're going to use our GPG keychain, and we're going to right-click the Daedalus installer and in Finder, not the signature, and then we're going to select Services, Open, PGP. So let's go ahead and drag that over. So we're going to bring this over here. Okay, so we're going to come here, and we're going to right-click on the Daedalus installer. We're going to go to Services, and we're going to say verify signature of file. So it's going to say that it wants to access files in the desktop folder. That seems fine. And we see here our results from GPG. The results say trusted signature from the IOHK signing authority with the fingerprint. One thing I will point out though, is that it seems like the language here is slightly outdated. On the data list site, they say that it should read signed by IOHK signing authority, full trust, and if not, it means that there's no valid signature. I suspect that their documentation is out of date here because GPG is telling us it's a trusted signature by IOHK. So I'm pretty confident that we're good here. But if this last step makes you kind of unsure and you're saying, well, the whole point of this thing was a signature and they're telling me that it needs to say exactly this and it doesn't say exactly this, then you might want to reach out to the data list team and maybe ask them to update their documentation. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we're good to go here. So with that, we've downloaded the installer, we've downloaded the associated signature, we've used GPG, to do the PGP signature verification. Everything came back good. And now we can go ahead and start our installation process of Daedalus. You see, not so bad, was it? So now if you want a little bit of a deeper dive on how to get Daedalus installed and how to go all the way from install to delegation, check out our next video on installing Daedalus from scratch. We'll see you in the next video.